on the other side of the creek. Oh, babies. The creek is still running. Some of it has ice. But this creek is all season and doesn't completely freeze or dry up. Okay, so I figured I might as well make a video about preparing for the frost with a backyard block. Um, I'm in 7B, though it does occasionally, hey, that's my hand, snow here. Um, it does not super often, and this is the most amount of snow I've seen. We've only gotten like two inches. And so I will go through all the things I've prepped to get us all through this ice storm. I'm in here hanging out with the chickens and the ducks to see how this heat lamp is doing and to give them warm, fresh water every four hours. And they seem to be all right when we come in here. They're not all huddled under the light like they're freezing cold. Um, they have plenty of hay and things in their box. And I'm gonna go ahead and check for some eggs. And you guys, these are literally my babies, so it is super important for me to make sure that they're comfortable and that they're happy. They're pretty loud. They really, really want to go outside, but that means I have to stay outside with them, and I cannot catch them all. Catching chickens and ducks to put them in the kennel is like, or the kit <laughs> is impossible. I uh, usually just have to stay out here with them until nighttime, and at sunset, they go in. Um, I have to stay out here with my chickens because I live in a regular little town, and any stray dog, I don't have a fence, so any stray dog, cat, anything can come and like get them that gets loose I've got snow in my hair uh, so I have to stay out here with them or the dogs and it's just too cold it's only like 12 degrees right now with the wind chill of a little low so they're staying in the coop where it's warm and it's nice and we don't get frostbite right guys but yeah the plastic's on the opposite side of these planks right here and I made this out of pallets and then we did one a-frame for half of it and the other is just some netting we've got some plastic up usually over here on these a-frames they're not covered by plastic but because the wind chill and things like that are going to be so bad we went ahead and covered all the ventilation for the most part they've still got little areas like here and stuff so they're not you know going to die without ventilation but it's keeping them warm so here are some of the ways I'm keeping my chickens and my ducks warm. I feed them cracked corn, which is also called corn chops. Then digesting the corn, it, it, I don't know if it's the starch or uh, the carbs in it, but it keeps them warmer. So they're eating mostly corn and scratch and things like that. They give them some warmth. And then we laid lots of straw in here. They usually have pine bed sheddings, but straw is hollow and it holds air, so it's very insulating. And we also put this clamp light in here. I got this when I had them as babies, so we went ahead and put this in here, and it seems to be doing just fine. I'm in here, well, my other hand doesn't have a glove on, but I come and I sit in here for about 30 minutes just to see exactly how it is in here. For them, it's not warm enough for me, and it's not warm enough for them. They have these down feathers and things like that, so it does keep them a little warmer than I stay warm in this weather, but we made sure to put lots and lots of lots and lots of straw in here as well as in their hen boxes you can see there is just like layers and layers of pine shavings and straw to keep them warm this heat lamp that i'm under it's actually pretty warm right here and this heat lamp is by their water so it helps to keep the water from freezing as well as us changing it three times a day we come in the morning at when it's still dark around six o'clock because when it's dark they don't try to rush out of the coop so we go ahead and come out here change the water in the morning and then around noon we come back and change the water with some warm water and then around four o'clock we'll give them some warm water before they go to bed around six 
And the reason why I'm changing the water so often is because it is so cold. Um, just like when you're cold and you like to drink a warm cup of tea or coffee, this will give them some warm water to drink and be happy and warm up in this chilly weather. And happy chickens lay eggs, don't they? Huh? Happy chickens lay eggs. They want light and they want some warmth. So we're making sure to provide that so that we keep getting our eggs every day. Now chickens and ducks are typically very easy to care for. This is my first set and so far I have had no issues and I got them in July and it is February now. Um, it usually doesn't get this cold and a regular winter, depending on where you are, isn't bad for chickens and ducks. They have that downy feather and it keeps them warm. That's why they molt. Uh, they molt in the spring to get rid of their winter feathers and get their spring and summer feathers and then they molt again before winter so they can have these fluffy feathers they're chatty in order to get them from winter uh but it is supposed to be sub-zero negative 10 negative 20 in places with a lot of wind so i'm just doing all that i can to make sure they're comfortable and like i said if i'm not comfortable <laughs> hi baby if i'm not comfortable they're not comfortable right that's my motto <laughs> she's so sweet i can't believe she just jumped on me like that she's looking for snacks this is Paula, by the way uh, she's looking for snacks. I'm usually always in here with snacks. And so she's just on top of me like, hey mom, um, where's the lettuce at? I know, I know, I'm gonna get it. But we are gonna cover up the top of this A-frame with some plastic so that they don't get a ton. She is perched on my arm right now. Look at that fluffy butt. Look at that fluffy butt. <laughs> I got a chicken on my arm, but don't call me a chicken arm. Where are you going, Perla? She's wondering where the treats are. Da da da, blah blah blah. <laughs> back it up, girl. Back it up, girl. Uh uh, girl. Look back at it. And one of the reasons I'm literally inside my coop sitting down with my chickens is because I want to see their behavior. I like to do that anyways to see if there's any issues, any fighting, which there hasn't been. The boys can be jerks sometimes, the ducks. But other than that, there's, there's no big issues. But I like to be aware of their behavior. If they're all huddling under that light all together, then they're they're cold and the light is is the only area that they're barely getting any heat but every time i come in here they're up on the roost they're all around so they're not acting like they're cold and desperate for some heat yet in the airframe there is a gap here and since we're expecting so much snowfall uh, we are covering it up with plastic to keep them a little warm it is a little colder in here than it was yesterday so we're just sealing all the little cracks. Okay, I spent a good hour in the chicken coop with the chickies. I brought them some lettuce because they were harassing me and jumping all over me. And you guys can see, those are my geese. They are not my geese. Oh my gosh, the snow is blowing. There's some wild geese that uh, since the cold has been coming up, put, putting corn and extra scratch out there, the same stuff I feed my chickens and ducks and uh, they've been very friendly and now they're kind of hanging out so I'm probably gonna go bring them food. But yes, I spent an hour with my chickens in there. Um, another way to see uh, how they're doing if they're too hot or too cold, if they are hiding away from the heat lamp like as far as possible, but then they are too hot. But that little thing, it's not gonna be too hot for them. It seems to be perfect and this snow is amazing. I'm from California, this is, this is my first real snow without having to travel for it and it's beautiful. So that's so far what I have and I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day and a great rest of the year and I am gonna enjoy as much as this beautiful snow as I can. <laughs> it is pretty cozy in here. Here is a picture of me inside of the coop 
last night. I make sure I go in there, stay a few minutes. I take off a couple layers, take off my gloves, and really see how the temperature is in there. As you can see, the chickens are on the roost and the ducks are away from the light and they're not desperately huddling, though the, they don't like the plastic. So usually they run away when they hear it going up, but um, they're doing great.